Hey y'all, thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you guys are having a most excellent day. So you may recall, I recently put up a post on my Facebook page that had this image that says, let me rate your fursuits. And I thought I would do a video where I rate your fursuits. Now I had a butt ton of responses. Uh, this may have to be a two part because I have 80 comments to get through, most of which come with a fursuit picture. So let me have a look at these pictures now and let's rate some fursuits to you guys, see what I think. Um, Obviously, I am not an expert on fursuits. I do love fursuits, and I do know what I love. But, obviously, this is just my opinion. Don't take it as fact. Just because I say your fursuit is crap doesn't mean it actually is. So, let's get on with this and have a look at the first fursuit to be responded to. And that is from my good buddy, Humberto, who was sent in this picture. And he has indicated that... This, uh, the fox on the left, is his fursuit. And it is a very foxy looking fox. He looks a little bit startled, like his friend here was taking the picture, and he wasn't ready for it, and he was like, ah! So, yes, very cool fursuit, though. Thank you very much for sending that in, Humberto. I love your fursuit. I love your friend's fursuit as well. You two look like you're having a lot of fun there. So, shall we have a look at the next fursuit on the list? And that has been sent to us by... Echo Location, who is another good friend of mine. They've actually sent a few pictures in, so let's have a look at them. So they have said, said that this photo was taken by Anuki Temple, and that they are the fursuit on the right. So let's bring it up and have a look. That is a very cute fursuit indeed. That is actually really cute. I love the expression. I love what they've done with the mouth. And obviously you can't see my hand there, because I'm going to superimpose a picture, but... Uh, I absolutely love what they've done with this fursuit. It's hella cute. The colours really complement each other. And it's got a nice expressive face. I must say that from the get-go. I do like this fursuit. And they've included more photos on a link. So let's have a look at those. So now we have even more photos to look through. And I will include some of these uh, for you guys to have a look at. Because there's a lot of photos here. And some of them are hella cute. Okay. Um, oh, I like the look of this one. This is a very cute photo. Check that out. I'll make sure that comes up on the screen for you guys, obviously. But yeah, that is a really cute fursuit, to be honest. I really like that. So thank you very much, uh, Echo Location, for sending me in your fursuit to rate. I'm going to rate it a solid 5 out of 5. That is an epic fursuit. So next up on our list is a fursuit submitted by a really good friend of mine, Mark Jones, also known as Jet Fox who lives down at the south of England, very good buddy of mine. I do really love this fursuit, it is really colourful, really happy expression. I really love the eyes on this and the you know really happy-go-lucky look that he has when he's fursuiting. So yeah, another solid 5 out of 5 here. I love the prop that he's brought with him, a nice inflatable daffodil. Uh, very relevant to us Welshies, if you know what I mean. So yeah, thank you very much uh, Jet Fox for sending in your fursuit. We rated most excellent. And next up, we have another submission from Echo Location. And this fursuit was actually bought for them by their partner um, and was made by Curious Creation. So let's bring that up for you to have a look at. Bloody hell. So this one is a very spotty dog indeed. I believe it's some sort of dog. It's covered in really cool spots. Now, I know they must have taken an absolute age for the maker to put on there. So well done to the maker. Very, very hard work putting in there. Um, very interesting uh, ears. With the cool striping in it, that's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, and bright neon green eyes, which is another fine touch which I really like about this fursuit. It is uh, much more of a realistic style than the previous fursuits we looked at, which is a nice change. Um, I tend towards the toony suits, but this one is definitely a really nice suit. So thank you very much for submitting that to me to review. Uh, definitely at least, I'd say a 4 out of 5 on this one. I, I, I think I prefer your other suit, to be honest. And now we have a third entry from Echo Location, and this one, from the preview, I know is going to give me nightmares. Now they say it's the one on the right, and it was made by somebody called Interobang. So let's bring that up for you guys and have a look. And dear god, that is scary. That is terrifying. It's some sort of uh, horrific dead deer zombie type thing, which is really cool. Now remember, keep Q of the Wolf away from this guy, because you never know what he might want to do to it. Uh, because that is a terrifying dead animal, and that is going to give me nightmares. I can guarantee I am going to be terrified. That's going to sneak into my dreams tonight and scare the bejesus out of me. So thank you very much for saying that. I'm actually going to give that a 6 out of 5, because that is so terrifying, and oh my god, yeah. 
So thank you very much again, Echolocation, for sending that in. I love it to bits, and I hate it to bits at the same time. <laughs> okay, so the next one up is actually one of my favourites. I've seen a few times on the internet before, and it's been submitted by Roof Maney Woof. And this one, I absolutely love this one to bits. Uh, so let's bring it up for you guys to see. Whenever I see pictures of this one, I'm just like, damn, that's adorable. Um, I really, really love the muzzle markings. I love the little goggles that he puts on there. I, I love the sandals too. The sandals are an epic touch. This is actually one of my favorite fursuits. Whenever I see him at conventions and stuff, uh, or just on the internet in general, I absolutely adore this fursuit. So thank you very much, uh, Ruth, for sending him in. Uh, absolute banger. Five out of five. Love this fursuit to bits. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for sending it in. And next up is another good buddy of mine who has submitted two of his fursuits. And that is my good buddy Steve, who also runs a YouTube channel, which I will link in the description below. But like I said, he has submitted two of his fursuits, both made by May Fursuits. And the first one is his Stormers. And I absolutely love this fursuit. Um, it really, really is a characterful fursuit. I love the colours. I love the hair. I love the expression to bits, um, and I absolutely adore that. And the jacket really does go with it. And I know that I've seen pictures of him all over the internet. I've met him at conventions in his fursuit. This one is a banger, definite five out of five. Absolutely love it. And let's have a look at his other fursuit. Now, I've not actually uh, seen his other fursuit before. I've seen pictures of it, but I've not actually met him in the other fursuit. So let's bring that up and have a look. Ah, that is cute. That is really cute. I love the marking on the tail. Um, I love the hair. I love the really cute little uh, eyes going on there. That is an adorable fursuit. And he's in an adorable pose as well, so you can't go wrong. Absolutely loving that. Another, I, I think I love his other fursuit more, but that is a definite banger. Definite four out of five. Love it to bits. So next up is my good buddy Ed Wolf. Now, I've known Ed Wolf for about 15 years now. I'd say maybe a bit less, actually, but... um. I first met him at Bristol Furs when, uh, before he even had a fursuit, but now he has several fursuits and he has submitted one to us. Now, it is a very dapper gentleman looking like a Victorian uh, type, judging by the bowler hat, or possibly a tax inspector. And I know he has maintained his fursuit himself rather than sending it to a maker or anything like that to do refurbs. Uh, but I, I would say that I do think, uh, dude, your fursuit is looking a little bit aged. And while I do love Ed Wolf to bits, and I think he is a top-notch dude, uh, I do think his fursuit is looking a little bit uh, rough for wears these days. Uh, it, the wear and tear is definitely starting to show. Um, but still, it is a cool uh, fursuit. It's good to see him around in it, and I'm glad he really enjoys fursuiting in it. Uh, but I would probably rate this, probably due to the, uh, the age and the wear and tear that the fursuit's gone through, probably a 3 out of 5. Um, uh, thank you very much, Ed Wolf, for submitting your fursuit. So next up is my good buddy Alexis, who has submitted a picture of her and her husband on their wedding day in fursuit. Now that's a very special thing to be submitted. So I'm going to rate both of them because this is a most excellent opportunity and I was not expecting that. Let's bring this up for you guys. Uh, check that out. Isn't that the picture of cuteness? Um, a most excellent way to have your wedding in fursuit, probably surrounded by all your furry friends. And I have to say, they are really, really cute fursuits. The... The, the carrot in the husband's mouth is the cherry on the cake for me. That is most excellent. They both have really cute expressions. I really love the little tuft of hair going on on Alexis's fursuit. And the great big fluffy paws. Those are both excellent fursuits. And I'd give them both 5 out of 5, so they're going up to a 10 out of 10. So thank you very much for submitting your fursuits for me to rate most awesome absolutely love them looking forward to meeting you at some point at a convention and hanging out and doing some fursuiting together because damn those are awesome fursuits so next up is another good buddy of mine and that is shaney hollister who you may remember i have drawn a few pieces of art for in the past and i absolutely adore their character so definitely glad to see it's in fursuit now and they have confirmed it's made by curious creatures and it is 50 percent fennec 49% Tanuki and 1% Velociraptor. So let's bring that up for you guys to see now. Ah, uh, check that out. That is adorable. The little folded ear, the cute little eyes, the little eyelashes, and really, really nicely painted. That is an adorable fursuit. And it goes well with a hoodie. I like the hoodie as well. That is really cute. 
So thank you very much for submitting that to me. That is definitely another four out of five. That is a banger. Love that fursuit to bits. Absolutely adorable. Thank you very much, Shaney. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again at some point at a fur meat oil convention. So thank you very much for submitting that. So next up is another good buddy of mine. I only recently met, actually. Uh, and I met them through Toronto, uh, also known as Lord Sucker. Again, I'll link to their uh, YouTube in the description below. Uh, because Toronto is actually the maker of this fursuit. And the person who introduced me to this person. And uh, let me just bring that up for you. Uh, oh, and here we go. So, as I understand it, the backstory for this character is he gets superpowers through wearing spandex outfits. Which is pretty damn cool superpower. And I do love his fursuit. He's got a nice, mean superhero look to him. And he's, you know, throwing up the gang signs. Um, lovely peace thing. Around, and he's got the spandex on, which is awesome. So I love this fursuit to bits. But I realise I've only just met you, so, you know, I, I've only known you, what, a month, maybe? But you seem like a really cool dude. I would like to hang out with you at some point, chill out, do some fursuit, and maybe at a convention. Uh, if you're going to Confuzzle next year, I might be there, hopefully, or possibly a fur meet at some point. I could come up to where you are, or, you know, if you're down visiting Toronto again, let me know. We can hang out. But definite love your fursuit. Definite four out of five. Awesome fursuit. Awesome backstory. Love it to bits. Thank you very much for submitting. So next up is a buddy of mine, Kiko Paws, who has submitted their fursuit, Biohazard. Now in this case, I think this is the first one we've had on the list where they've made the fursuit themselves, which I have to say is a definite win. I do love it when I see people making fursuits themselves, and obviously, you know, I tried to make a fursuit myself, and I failed miserably. So I know that this is a massive effort on their part, and I do love seeing that. So let's bring that up for you guys to see. Okay, so it's a bright green fursuit with a long yellow tongue. I like the tongue, I like the eyes. The paws are huge and fluffy, and I like big, fluffy, huge paws. That's a definite win for me. Big, fluffy ears, I do love that. This is a really good fursuit, especially for a homemade one. Um, you don't see that often these days. A lot of people just go out and buy fursuits. So to see someone putting in the effort to making it themselves, Definite winner. So not just for that reason, but because this is an epic fursuit as well, I am going to give this one 5 out of 5 as well. Definite banger going on my list of fursuits that I really like. So thank you very much for submitting Biohazard to us. So next up is my buddy Jesse Husky who submitted their fursuit. They haven't given me any details on who made the fursuit, but it is a real cutie. I really do love this one. So let's bring that up for you and check that out. Dramatic pose with the... Uh, is that a golf club? That's a golf club. He's out mini golfing. That's cool. That is very cool. That would explain why the paw is missing. So, I, but I do love the expressive look in it, and the eyes are really nice. The mouth is really well carved. It's got a nice smile to it, so I do like that. And obviously, he's playing mini golf, which is one of my favourite games. So, definite five out of five. Thank you very much for submitting that. I love that to bits. And next up, uh, we have Devin James asking me to rate his fursuit and his boyfriend's fursuit. So it's a double whammy again. Um, and I recognize one of them straight off the back. So it is another fellow YouTuber. Let's bring that up for you. So we have Devin on the left and his partner, Rex the Skunk on the right, who is a good buddy of mine online. Really top-notch dude. Check his YouTube out in the chat, uh, in the description below. Um, but yeah, these are definitely awesome fursuits. I love seeing these fursuits. They, I love the colors on Devin's fursuit. The green and the black go really well together. And then obviously... Uh, Rex a skunk. He's got the red hair. Red hair, very top notch. So for those two, I'm definitely giving them both 5 out of 5 for a total of 10 out of 10. Thank you very much for submitting your fursuits. They are hella cute and hella awesome. So next up, we have something a little bit different. Uh, it, my good buddy Luke Griffin has submitted a picture. Of, uh, well, he submitted a video of his fursuit for you guys to check out. Now, would you like your head crushed between my thighs? Or should we cuddle? So yeah, tell me what you guys think of that. Go check out his TikTok. Um, I love this fursuit. It is a really cute fursuit. I love the little antlers. They're like little cute little nubbly antlers. I love that. Um, really awesome. Thank you very much for submitting. Again, another 5 out of 5 banger of a fursuit. Love it to bits. Thank you so much for submitting that. That is awesome. Now next up is my buddy Hunter Freeman. And he has submitted a picture of his fursuit head. And looking at the thumbnail now... It is hella cute. So I'm going to bring that up for you guys. See what you think. Check that out. That is a really nice toony fursuit. And the expression on it is otherworldly. It looks like you're holding up a little treat for him. And he's like. Ugh. 
is adorable. The little tongue hanging out, the ears folded over, the way he's focused on something up there, like you're holding a treat up for him. Love that fursuit. Another banger. Definite five out of five. So thank you very much, Hunter, for sending that in. That is a most excellent fursuit. So I'm about halfway through the list of fursuits submitted to me now, but I'm going to cut it there for now, and I'm going to do this as a two-parter. So I will now go off and do some editing magic and make this video into a video. It'll go up on my YouTube. And then I will review the rest of the fursuits and they'll be up on a separate video, possibly next Monday. Uh, so thank you everyone who submitted so far. Love your fursuits. Every single one of them are bangers. Absolutely adorable fursuits. Thank you very much for submitting. I hope you guys have a most excellent day. And if you have any comments for any of the fursuiters or you want links to the people, drop it in the comments below and I'll let you know where to find these people. Other than that, you have a most excellent week and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, take care. Ta-ra.